Okay, I've got an exciting one today. We're back with the 6.5 Grendel, and today we're going to be testing the 100 grain Nosler ballistic tip. This is a very hard to find bullet. I think Nosler just came out with a run not too long ago. I picked these bullets up maybe a month or two back, and today I finally got around to testing them. I am super excited to see how these do. This is one of the top. Um, requested bullets for me to test they've been very hard to get a hold of but I've got a box here and uh, I look forward to testing them today we'll get a chronograph reading we'll do a three shot group at 100 yards we'll do a 50 yard water jug test and we'll do a 400 yard water barrel test to test expansion at long range um, looking forward to trying these out right here I've got loaded the 100 grain ballistic tip. I've got 32 grains of accurate 2520 and uh, Remington 7.5 primer with PPU brass. Uh, looking forward to seeing what kind of speeds we get with this. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Let's see how these do. All right, before I forget, many of you guys ask my rifle specs. Um, this rifle here used to be an Alexander Arms hunter it had an 18 inch barrel on it and uh ended up having problems with the hunter upper um the barrel came loose from the barrel nut and so i decided to redo the upper receiver so this is a bit of a frankenstein rifle this is a alexander arms hunter lower it's got a two-stage geisley trigger and for the upper i went with the arrow precision uh m4 i believe uh, upper and uh i have a proof 20 inch uh stainless barrel by proof research and i've got a ec tuner brake on the front this rifle is very accurate and um, i've been very happy with it even though Everything's kind of mix and match. Uh, the rifle tends to shoot lights out. I'm getting sub half inch groups with my 120 grain spear gold dots, um, 127 grain LRX, and the 130 terminal ascent. They all shoot lights out, and I haven't found a bullet yet that shoots over one inch. All right, let's get a chronograph testing of the 100 grain Nosler ballistic tip. Twenty six ninety one. Okay, so now we will be doing a uh, group test of the one hundred grain Nosler ballistic tip. I will be aiming for the target there on the left. All right, so here is the three shot group at 100 yards with the 100 grain Nosler ballistic tip using 32 grains of accurate 2520 with a Remington 7.5 primer and a uh, PPU once fired brass. The uh, total group size that I measured was 0.82 inches. Not bad. Okay, so it is time to test the 100 grain uh, Nosler ballistic tip with one gallon water jugs. I used to do def jugs, but uh, unfortunately my source for def jugs is all but dried up, and so they're harder for me to get a hold of. So uh, for now I'm moving to one gallon water jugs. Got six of them lined up. I'm going to go back to about 50 yards and we'll see how these 100 grain Nosler ballistic tips do. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like we blew the first two jugs up very nicely. Went into number three. Exited number three. Went into four. And it looks like what's left of the bullet is stopped in four. Uh, give me a moment and I'll get these dug out. Okay, we've got the barrel set up at 400 yards. We'll see how the 100 grain Nosler ballistic tip does. Okay, so we are back and uh, we've got the 100 grain nozzler ballistic tip here. Right here is the 50 yard um, bullet that was recovered from the fourth water jug. As you can see, we had core jacket separation, which I mean, it's to be expected. It's a non bonded bullet. Uh, bullet expanded quite well. And as you can see, it expanded almost down to the base. So um, if it were going much faster, uh, there really wouldn't be much left of the, bu of the bullet. As we go on to 400 yards, these are the two recovered bullets. As you can see, we had decent expansion once again. But again, we had core, sap blah, blah, blah. core jacket separation. And um, yeah, I don't know what uh, I will have to say. I was a little bit disappointed by the velocities that I got. Uh, I was almost 2,700 feet a second, but not quite. And I was hoping to really be more in that 2,800 foot per second range, but it just didn't happen with the uh, load that I did today. Um, overall, Nozzer Ballistic Tip, I think it did pretty well. For me personally, I thought that the 120 grain performed better in the 6.5 Grendel, um, especially considering the fact that uh, today I really didn't see that much velocity gain from the 100 grain over the 120. And uh, really, I think we see almost identical expansion. The only difference is at closer range, that 120 holds together a little better. There's more of the bullet, more length to expand down towards that core. And um, from what I recall, I didn't quite see as bad a jack core separation from the jacket. So for me personally, I think um, I think this bullet's okay. It's fine for maybe whitetail deer, antelope, uh, definitely varmints it do quite well um, but I think for me there's just a little bit to be desired for how well this bullet hold, held together uh, for me personally I think I'd stick with the 120 if I'm going with a Nosler ballistic tip but uh, the choice is yours to make and uh, overall not a bad job with the 100 grain Nosler ballistic tip